In the Valley of Elah, two armies faced off. The Philistines had a champion, Goliath, a giant warrior. Goliath challenged the Israelites to send out a single fighter. King Saul, impressed by David's confidence and faith, agrees to let him try. David takes a deep breath, places a stone in his sling and swings it with precision. The stone flies through the air and strikes Goliath on the forehead. The giant's eyes widen in shock before he collapses to the ground. David's brave act and unwavering faith in God become legendary. He is celebrated as a hero. The video that you have just watched is similar to what this channel is creating. It's getting hundreds of thousands of views. And look at this specific one here. It was published eight days ago and it has already gotten 183,000 views. There's another one here that has a collection of 10 animated Bible stories and it has gotten 1.3 million views. This video was posted only four months ago. This goes to tell you that these kinds of stories get millions of views. Without any knowledge or background on animation, I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process of creating such animated videos. Let's get started. The first step is to get a script for our video. This is a really important step in that if your script is poorly written, it means that you're going to get low retention and you're going to have issues with YouTube recommending your videos. You can come up with your own script, but if you're not able to do that, you can use a tool like ChatGPT. That is what you're going to use today. Before we head over to ChatGPT, I want us to view one of these videos that has been created by this channel so let's open one of these videos here that is doing quite well and what we want to do from here is that we want to replicate the style with which this story has been created and to do that we are going to come over here and we're going to click on more and you're going to come down here to where there is a transcript and you're going to click on short transcript you can see that this transcript has been shown to us right copy this entire transcript and we will head over to chat gpt and once you're on chat gpt we are going to type the following prompt below is a transcript of a video that went viral on youtube review the transcript with each line of narration as one scene create a similar narration in the bible of the story of david and goliath generate only 12 lines of a transcript with 12 scenes for the entire story each scene two seconds long since this is a tutorial i'm going to create only 12 scenes so that the tutorial does not become too long. However, if you're going to generate this entire story in itself, you should generate not less than 50 lines of transcript, meaning you're going to generate not less than 50 scenes for your entire story. And I have gone ahead to ask it to have one third party narration, create a table with three columns of timing, the scene and a transcript. I'm going to paste the transcript that you copied from the channel that you have just hit enter. The reason why we are doing this is that we want ChatGPT to generate for us a script for our own story. We would want it to replicate the style from the video that we just saw that went viral. Now, in the scene, you can see that ChatGPT has numbered my scenes, but then I would want it to name the specific scenes and I'm going to ask it to do exactly that. This is the prompt that I have just typed on ChatGPT. In the scene column, name the specific scenes instead of numbering them and I'm going to hit enter and let's get to see what ChatGPT is going to come up with. And you can see that ChatGPT has now given us a description of the specific scenes instead of the numbers that it had initially given us. We have the battlefield and the transcript is in the valley of Ella, two armies faced off. And then we have the second scene of the challenger. The Philistines had a champion, Goliath, a giant warrior. The second step is to come up with a detailed description of the scene. And the reason we're doing this is that we want ChatGPT to give us the specific details for the different scenes. And that is what you're going to use to generate prompts that will be used to generate images. And for that, I'm going to type in the following prompt on ChatGPT. Create a detailed description for each scene, ensuring that there is only one character in each scene. Add more columns to the existing table by adding a detailed description and main character columns. Hit enter. 
and you can see that ChatGPT has given us a detailed description for this scene together with the main character. When you look at this entire script, it has only three main characters. The reason is that we want to have very few characters so that you can simplify this entire story. Now that you have our detailed description together with our main characters, the next step is to come up with the detailed prompt for the different scenes. And to do that again, you're going to type the following prompt on ChatG. Create detailed prompts for generating images for each scene with specific character positions, expressions, backgrounds, actions, and any other relevant details. Add another column to the existing table on detailed prompts. The main character's column should be at the extreme end. And I'm going to hit enter. You can see that it has added another column with the detailed prompts of the different scenes for our story. Once you're good with the detailed prompt that ChatGPT is going to give you, the next step is to generate the exact same thing but for the main characters. To do that, you're going to type the following prompt on ChatGPT. For the main characters outlined above, provide a detailed description of their appearance and outfit of all the characters in a table format. And I'm going to hit enter. ChatGPT has given us a detailed description for our characters, our three characters here, together with the outfit for these characters. The first one for Goliath is Goliath wears heavy bronze armor, including a helmet, breastplate, greaves, and a large shield. He carries a massive spear, and a sword. His armor is intricately designed, showing signs of wear from numerous battles. You can see that this description of the outfit for our character is quite detailed. Now that you already have the description for our character together with the outfit, the next thing is to generate prompts for this character. To do that, we will ask ChatGPT to do exactly that based on the description above. This detailed description that you have been given by ChatGPT. Create a table with columns of character, appearance, outfit, and its respective prompt to generate a 3D Disney Pixar style animation of each character. ChatGPT has given us a detailed description of the appearance of this character, the outfit of this character, together with a detailed prompt that you're going to use to generate the images. Look at this detailed prompt here. Create a 3 animation of Goliath. Make him a towering figure over 9 feet tall with a powerful build. Give him a rugged, battle-hardened face with a thick beard and long and ruly hair. It's so detailed and this is the prompt that you're going to use to generate the images. Next, copy this entire table here. The table containing the character appearance outfit together with the detailed prompt and save it on a Google document. The next step is to generate images for our characters together with our scenes. There are different options out there for you. If you have the paid version of ChatGPT, you can be able to generate images using GPT-4. You can explore Leonardo AI and Leonardo AI is equally good. It also has a free version. The last one that I feel is equally good is Microsoft Image Generator by Microsoft. It has a free version as well. For today's tutorial, we are going to use Leonardo AI. Log into Leonardo AI. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below together with the prompts that you have used on ChatGPT. Once you're on Leonardo AI, you will get to a home page link and you can log in using your Apple account, your Google account, or your Microsoft account. Alternatively, you can also log in using your email. For today, I'm going to use my Google account. Click on Google. Once you have logged in, it's going to take you to a page like this one here. Let's quickly preview the user interface for Leonardo AI. On your extreme left, you have the number of tokens that you can access. For the free version, you get 150 tokens that are renewable every 24 hours. Down here, you get to input the number of images that you'd want Leonardo AI to generate for you. The lower the number of images, the lower the number of tokens that you will use. Another important aspect is the image aspect ratio. If you're generating a YouTube video, you're going to go with a ratio of 16.9. On the main page on your right, 
you have a text box. This is where you're going to input the prompt that will be used to generate your image. And down here, you can select the model that you'd want to use. There are different options. You can also select the style that you'd want generated for your image. Down here, you're going to see the history of the images that you've generated before. Now let's quickly generate our images. To do that, I'm going to head over to my Google document and I'm going to generate our first scene. Copy the detailed prompt for our first scene and I'm going to paste it right here on Leonardo. Select the number of images and I'm going to confirm that the aspect ratio is 16.9 since I'm going to create a YouTube video. And once you're good with that, you're going to click on generate. And there we have it. We have two images here of our first scene. And I'm going to go ahead and I will generate the other scenes. This is the other image that we have generated. I will go with this one, this first one here. Download this image. Click on download image. I'm going to save it. And I will go back and generate the next character, which is David. Click on generate. We have David here and another image of a younger David. I will go with this one here download this image lastly generate our last character which is king soul beautiful we have two images of king soul i'm going to pick on this first one download it now that we have our three main characters i will go ahead and generate the remaining scenes paste the prompt for the scenes ensure that your aspect ratio is 69 and we have our first scene here. I will go ahead and I will generate the next scene. You can see how our image looks like. Download it as well. I will go ahead and generate all the other scenes. The next step is to animate our images. And for that, we have different options out there. We have Runway, Pika Labs, Luma AI, and even Leonardo AI. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Leonardo AI. Now, now that you have generated our images on Leonardo AI, you will come over here and you're going to click on your personal feed. And down here, you'll be able to see the many images that you have generated using Leonardo. To start animating, you will go back to ChatGPT or your Google Doc, preview the scene, pick on an image like this one, click on it. You can preview it just to confirm that this is the right image that you'd want to animate. I'm good with this one here. From here, you're going to click on image to motion. Click on generate. So you can see that our first animation is ready. So this is this is Goliath's animation. Let's preview this animation here. You can see that our first animation looks really good. And for this one, I'm going to download it. So we're going to click on the download icon. And our first animation has now been downloaded. Next, I'm going to generate an animation for our third scene. So click on the image. Then click on image to motion. From here, click on generate. Now you can see this generation here. You can see that there is some distortion on this specific one here. So I'm not going to keep this one. I'm going to try and regenerate another one. This one is also distorted. You can see the mouth. So we'll go back and I will regenerate another one again. So this one looks better. I love the expression on his face. And I think I'm going to use this particular one here. I'm going to download this animation here. Pick on an image. So this is Goliath with a sneering face. And we're going to convert it into an animation. Click on generate. So you can see this animation here. I think it looks good. I'm going to download it. Pick on an image. Then click on image to motion. Click on generate. This image is also a bit distorted. I'm going to regenerate another one. You can see the eyes. They don't look really good. And at the background you can see that there's also quite a number of distortions around here. You realize that generating animations can take a really long time, but all you need to do is to be patient, keep regenerating, keep trying until you get a perfect animation that you're going to use for your video. So I will go ahead and I'm going to animate all the other scenes before we move to the next step. The next step is to generate our voiceovers. And to do that, we're going to use 11 Labs. I love 11 Labs because it has a wide range of voices that you can choose and their voices are almost realistic. Once you're on 11 Labs, you're going to paste in your script, head over to your Google Doc or chat GPT and you're going to copy the first script for the first and we're going to paste it on 11 Labs. 
click on this button here and we're going to select the voice that we'd want to use for our voiceover. Listen in to the different voices that are available. So you can pick on one. A man who doesn't trust himself. And we're going to click on generate speech. In the Valley of Elah, two armies faced off. So good. From here, we're going to download this first voiceover. I'm going to paste in the second script, then click on generate. The Philistines had a champion, Goliath, a giant warrior. And I'm going to download it again. I will go ahead and I'm going to generate the remaining voiceovers for the different scenes. Finally, we are going to put everything together. And to do this, we are going to use CapCut, the online version of CapCut. Head over to CapCut.com and once you're there, you're going to click on Create New and we're going to select YouTube. Aspect Ratio 69. Once you're on CapCut, the next thing that you need to do is to upload your animations that you got from Leonardo AI. So click on Upload and you're going to click on Upload File. And you're going to bring in all your animations that you got from Leonardo AI. I have already uploaded mine right here. Next, you're going to bring in your voiceover that you generated from 11 Labs. Again, you're going to click on Upload, Upload File, and you're going to bring in your voiceover. I have already uploaded all my voiceovers from 11 Labs. Now, what you need to do now is to pair your voiceover together with your animations. And I'm going to start with the first voiceover. And we're going to drag our voiceover and we're going to bring it to our timeline. So this is the first voiceover. And what you need to do is to listen into your voiceover so that you can get to know the kind of animation that you're going to bring in next. So let's listen in. In the Valley of Elah. For our first scene, you're going to bring in the Valley of Elah. So you're going to drag it and you're going to place it right on top of your voiceover. Once you're done, you're going to reduce the size of your animation so that it aligns with your voiceover. Next, you're going to bring in our second voiceover. And I'm going to drag my voiceover and I'm going to place it just next to the first voiceover. And again, I'm going to bring in our second animation. Place our next to the first animation. Bring in your third voiceover. Ensure that your scene aligns with your voiceover. We're going to increase this scene right here to about 4.4 seconds. Bring in our third voiceover. And then bring in our third animation. Reduce the size of this animation so that it aligns with the voiceover. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other voiceovers together with the remaining animations. I have completed putting in my animations together with the voiceovers and the next thing that I would want to do is to bring in some transitions. To do that I'm going to hover in between the two scenes and then click on add transitions and from here we are going to select one of the transitions. I'm going to click on that, come over here, add the other transition and I'm going to add the transitions between all the different scenes. To complete our video, I already have some music that I downloaded from my YouTube studio. I'm going to drag it and I'm going to place it just below the voiceover. We can reduce the volume of our music by clicking on the music itself. And then we're going to click on basic and we're going to reduce the volume. Once everything is set, we are going to download our video. To do that, you're going to click on export and we're going to click on download. And our video is going to be downloaded as an mp4 format so click on export and that is it for today's video until next time god bless